This channel's definition of a warrior of war is any man who in the face of extreme adversity and risk still chooses to put a cause, belief, or the lives of others over his own self-interest. These are the men who put their gifts of intelligence, perseverance, and strength to honorable use, and today, one such man worthy of that definition is Leslie Charles Allen. Leslie Charles Allen, or colloquially known as Bull Allen by his mates due to his ability to run it straight in a game of Australian rules football, was born on the 9th of November 1916 at Ballarat East in Victoria, Australia. His father was a labourer and his childhood was rife with domestic violence and an all-round turbulent home life before his parents abandoned both him and his sister completely. When World War II gripped the world, Australia answered the call and were tasked alongside with many Americans and Britons to take on the Japanese in the Pacific theatre of the war, as well as the Germans in the North African desert. Allen happily signed on, and he was assigned to be a stretcher bearer due to his commanding physique and obvious strength. Although he displayed a certain disdain for authority, Bull Allen was a keen sportsman with a wicked sense of humour, who was liked by pretty much everyone aside from the officers. He proved a reliable soldier throughout the Syrian campaign in July of 1941, where under heavy shell fire, he attended to casualties all night long and the next morning, although fatigued, walked 10 kilometers to get transport for those wounded on the front lines. Later on in the war, Allen's company was sent to the Pacific Theater, where things looked dire and the Japanese were leaving terror in their wake. He was awarded his first medal in Papua New Guinea, where he rescued wounded men from intense fire in the Crystal Creek on the 7th of February. His superiors noted his strength, stamina, bravery, and devotion to comrades, and Bull Allen would never flinch in the face of fire while rescuing his fellow men. But the true immortalization of Bull Allen came on the 30th of July 1943 on Mount Tambu in New Guinea. Under heavy fire and the Imperial Japanese inching closer and closer, with each step sealing a wounded man's fate, Allen did the most he could to try and save as many of his fellow men as possible. At an imposing 5 foot 11 inches, Allen was quite the target for the Japanese and became wounded. However, this did little to stop him and he single-handedly carried 12 seriously wounded Americans back to friendly lines before he collapsed from sheer exhaustion and blood loss. Due to Bull Allen's actions, 12 Americans lived to see another day and the American government recognized this by presenting Allen with a silver star, one of the rare cases in which a foreigner received a medal from the Americans. Although Allen never showed fear in battle, the post-traumatic stresses obviously affected him greatly when he returned to Australia in September of 1943. His behavior became erratic and this eventually led him to punching an officer, at which point he was medically discharged. Allen eventually made a good recovery both mentally and physically and went on to lead a normal life, fostering a family and contributing to society. He passed away on the 11th of May 1985, aged 65. So guys, in my opinion, this was the closest version to Australia's Desmond Doss, saving people's lives without any regard for his own against Japanese forces. And as per usual, I want to know what you all think and the stories of your ancestors as well, so make sure you let me know in the comments section below. I also want to give a quick shout out to my patron, I Married My Cat, for pointing this one out to me. I later found this song by Sabaton about him called The Ballad of Bull, and it has to be one of my favorite Sabaton songs of all time. Anyways guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you learned something new.